Hello! Uh, my next video, not this one, my next one is going to be a long angry rant about the supposedly funniest ever joke which came out in 2023. So this video is to try and calm myself down before I have to make that one. In this video then, to calm myself down, we have got the best, the best jokes from each decade from the 1950s onwards. And you guys, you can all vote for which you think is the best and which you think is the worst decade in the comments below. Now I'm going to put on my rules hat, my little judging hat and uh, my, my sense of fairness hat. It's more of a cap actually. Uh, these jokes, they've all been taken from the Reader's Digest. That means the ones from the 1950s were in the 1950s, the 1960s, and the 1960s, and so on. They're all jokes by famous comedians, but the reason why I did them from the Reader's Digest is that way the jokes were of their time, the level that the Reader's Digest would print. Without further ado, without even a trumpet fanfare, we're going into the first of the decades. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the hilarious world of the 1950s. This Ballywell plucky decade was the one that was to bring us the poodle skirt. Hmm, a skirt for your poodle. What next? A bomber jacket for your cat? Well, Moxie was never in short supply in the 50s. Uh, whatever Moxie is, I presume it's some kind of scouring powder. The 1950s was the birth of the TV sitcom with iconic shows like I Love Lucy and Hancock's Half Hour. Once my father came home and found me in front of a roaring fire. That made my father mad as we didn't have a fireplace. Senator McCarthy is going to disclose the names of two million communists. He's just got his hands on a Moscow telephone book. My wife and I were happy for 20 years. And then we met. OK, groovy cats and hip chicks. We're now in the 1960s, where it's all about peace, love, tie-dyed flower power, psychedelic lava lamps, Woodstock, random words. Woodstock, that's just like Snoopy's yellow friend in it. Housework can't kill you, but why take a chance? The guy who invented the first wheel was an idiot. The guy who invented the other three, he was a genius. Last night it was so cold, the flashes in New York were only describing themselves. Get ready to boogie down now, it's the 1970s. Forget Saturday Night Live, we're talking Saturday Night Fever, where you could have disco beats, and if you were not careful, disco balls. I hate housework. You make the beds, you do the dishes, and six months later, you have to start all over again. When I die, I want to go peacefully like my grandfather did in his sleep. Not yelling and screaming like the passengers in his car. I told my wife she was lousy in bed. She went out and got a second opinion. We're going through all the decades from the 50s to 2010s with three of the best jokes from each decade. Vote in the comments below which you think was the funniest and which you think was the least funny of the decades. Now we're on to the 80s. Which was so rad. It was all neon, big hair that somehow you could just about fit your Walkman over whilst doing your Rubik's Cube and worrying about dying from the bomb. Rat rapping. I like to play chess with old men in the park, although it's hard to find 32 of them. Think about how stupid the average person is and realise half of them are stupider than that. I'm writing a book. I've got the page numbers done. The 90s, when everything was dial-up, dial-up grunge, dial-up friends, and those dial-up friends were people you actually didn't really know. But let's perk you up with some cups of Joe Cus, Joe Cus, Joe. How come this universe is only won by people from Earth? I was not a particularly small child. I was the one who always got picked to play Bethlehem in the school nativity. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Bleep, bob, bloop. It's the future. It's the 2000s, the era of Y2K and the rise of the internet, when Flip became smart in phones. And when we found the solution to all our problems, no. Not laughter, control, alt, delete. A big girl came up to me after a show and said, I think you're fattest. I said, no, no, I think you're fattest. I went to a restaurant that serves breakfast at any time. So I ordered French toast during the Renaissance. The depressing thing about tennis is that no matter how much I play, I'll never be as good as a wall. We're coming up to the final decade now. Coming up to the final decade. And uh, then next week, We've got the show where I'll come back and give you the funniest joke ever. The most the funniest joke ever. 
and um, I'll be honest I thought this show would have calmed me down but it hasn't so that could be quite an angry rant but um, maybe I'll calm down by then you can see as the decades go that uh, the type of jokes change and what's nice is because they're all featured in the Reader's Digest that hasn't changed over the years over the decades so it's shown how people, the audiences and the comedians uh, palette for what they think is funny, maybe, or people's tastes or what you're even allowed to say, maybe, has changed over the decades. So do go down to the comments below and say which you thought was the best, which you thought was the least funny decade. And obviously, if you want to, if you enjoyed it, do subscribe, do hit the notification bell, do smash like and all that sort of nonsense. Here we go. Final decade. The decade that brought us memes, social media, and wokeness, which are my three favourite forms of bullying. I'm the kind of tired that sleep can't fix. I have a belly button ring, which is a heated debate amongst my family because they're like, you need to get that removed. And I'm like, you guys are all overweight. I'm old school. I believe in asking a man what his credit score is before getting serious. 